Hey everyone, recently I recorded a video that shows how to run all specs using Cypress version 10 that removed run all specs button. I've done it by creating an intermediate spec that includes other specs. It's good, but the user was confused how to set an environment variable, especially if you want to do it for every Cypress run. So the user was trying to do it, for example, through an argument after Cypress run, and that's incorrect. This is an environment variable that has to go before you call Cypress run. So I was thinking about this and I was trying to come up with a better way of excluding all .sci.js spec file. Here's what I came up with. It would be nice if I could do the following. I can pass environment variables, which means my values, not config values, but my values to Cypress using the nth parameter. And here I can pass NFCI. And how do I read it in my spec files? Well, in the spec file, I could do something like Cypress and CI. And it would give me one because Cypress automatically parses those. In my config files, it's slightly different. In my config, this is the object that has all config values. And inside, it contains another object. So I'll say config n for clarity, config n. This object will have all parsed variables like this one. So let's see this in action. Okay, so we're getting the right value. And this is what we can do to determine if we want to exclude all CI or not. So right now, if it's defined, let's say, right, any value is okay. If this value is defined, then we do the following trick. Inside setup node events, you can return changes to the config that Cypress has. And those changes will be applied. So we can say return, and here we can say this. Okay. So does it work? Let's try it. So right now it should only find three specs because it should exclude the all side. Perfect. And if we pass, for example, nothing, it should run all four. Great. Okay, now this works in Cypress Open and Cypress Run, but we always want to exclude all that side of JS when we use Cypress Run. Is there a way we can know if we're using Cypress run command or Cypress open? Now, unfortunately, it's not that easy. Usually inside node applications, we could say log the process and, um, arg and we can print them arg. So let's see what happens in this case. Okay, we're not getting the original arguments. Cypress starts itself and then it uses a child process to in a process of Cypress config just for this particular project. So we don't get the original arguments. Okay, what else can we do? Well, let's look at this config object again. What if we print everything? Okay, so right now we're using Cypress run and the NFCI one. Okay, so the result config that Cypress gives us is huge. It has lots of options, everything. And as I said, you can modify it by returning the change properties as well. But one thing that kind of jumps at me are these two values. So right now when we use Cypress run, let me just say Cypress run, then those two values are the following. Is interactive true? Is text terminal true? Now, is interactive true is obviously wrong. That should have been set only when you use Cypress open. So what happens when you do Cypress open? Do these values stay the same or they change? Okay, I'm gonna click on end on testing and that will load the config. Okay, so let's find those values. Is interactive is still true, not surprised there, but is text terminal is false. Okay, so when we do Cypress open, these are the values that we get. Okay, so it seems like we can use config is text terminal to know if we're using Cypress run, or Cypress open. Okay, so if config is text terminal, then we're gonna exclude the uh, all that side that yes. Let's see if this works. So I'm just gonna open Cypress as normal user in, in the interactive mode, click on end to end testing, start test, and I see all side that yes. And if I'm running all the tests, for example, at the end of my work, I want to make sure everything is working before I push to CI, then I'm skipping all 
www.sci.js.